Hello everyone, Angie here at Studio Red Art. Today I'm working on project number 32. I'm going to be working on some UPO paper with blending solution and alcohol inks. As you can see, I've got three colors of alcohol inks. I've got butterscotch, raisin, and cayenne pepper. I have placed my blending solution on and am now dropping on alcohol ink. I'm going to start blowing it around with a straw just to get the colors to mix a bit. I am trying not to cover up the whole piece of UPO because I want it to be a little um, uneven and I want some white to show just for some contrast. So I'm going to blend it a little bit here. Uh, I think I'm going to get some alcohol. Yep, I'm going to get some alcohol here and spritz it on to kind of break up the color a little bit more. Going to blow it around a bit, let it mix and mingle. And now I'm going to let it air dry. I have let this air dry for probably, I don't know, 30 minutes or so. And I'm now I've got a piece of rose goil, rose gold, coiled, rose gold foil. And I'm going to place it over the top here and gently rub it down. I have slowed down the video so you can see how slowly I apply the foil. Um, this alcohol ink will pick up um, like your thumbnail or anything else. So like if you use your bone folder or something else with a hard edge, you can leave streaks on your project. Ask me how I know. <laughs> so I am just carefully rubbing it down with literally just the pad of my finger, usually just the pad of my middle finger there. Gently rubbing it down and checking it to see how it looks and trying not to be too rough with it. You don't really have to burnish it down too much because the alcohol ink will grab the foil. So it's not like I'm forcing it on. It's just making sure I work out any air pockets or anything. So that's the first reveal. You can see from the foil how much uh, transferred, even though you can't see it in the video, how shiny it is, but it is just stunning in real life. This is going to be one of my favorite techniques I can already see. I have a stack of UPO paper that needs to be used, and now I have several colors of foil, so watch out, world. <laughs> I can definitely see this being a very nice technique. Hello, kitty cat. A uh, very nice uh, technique for Christmas cards. Make a bunch of UPO backgrounds and some nice cool colors. Do a little bit of stamping and foiling, and there you go, Christmas cards. So here I am just going back uh, with the foil and adding some, <laughs> of course my cat wants to come out when I'm talking, um, adding some foil in places that I feel need a little bit more foil. And, 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 and honestly just staring in, in, in happiness at how pretty it is. Look at that. Oh, how pretty. That rose gold, rose, oh, I can't say that, rose gold foil is just so pretty. It adds shine without being like garish if that makes sense it's just a really 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 pretty color i didn't want gold because i felt gold would have been a little too harsh so i like the rose gold a little bit better and so there you can see all the shiny goodness i got very little effort and now it is time to finish this background and i'm going to do that with some tim holt remnant rubs these are the best rub-ons you can get. Uh, they will stick to pretty much anything. Um, I have used other brands before that honestly just don't work at all. These are the only rub-ons I will buy anymore. So I am just cutting up different pieces and placing them around the edge and making a nice border. I'm not being too particular about what anything says or if it makes sense. I'm just kind of just filling in some edges and adding some, te adding some interest and texture. So... about time to finish that and I will get a popsicle stick out here and start rubbing them down all that's all you need is a popsicle stick you don't need any special tools these come on uh, these transfer very easily even on this uh, plastic paper which is what UPO is it's a plastic paper and now I'm taking off the backings and getting our final reveal All right, now that this is almost done, I'm going to mount it to a piece, to an art journal page. This is from my photo album uh, art journal, so I've just painted the edges, uh, adding some collage medium, gluing it down, and there it is. That's going to be my finished project. So this was project number 32, alcohol ink on Yupa paper with some foiling. I think it turned out flippin' fantastic, and I hope you did too. Hope you got inspired, and I will see you next time. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye.